Hello, everybody. I'm Eddie Nuning from MIDI Guitarist, and I welcome you back to our fourth episode of great use cases for the Boss GM800 guitar synthesizer. This time I want to show you three more scenarios where you can put this machine to great use. And the first one is a bit overlooked in my eyes because it's about notation and putting in notes, which is quite easy with this thing. If you know where to put the right values in the Boss Tone Studio, I'll just show you the most important part is in the st Tone Studio, go to Guitar to MIDI and choose a high value for low velocity cut because that's the thing that was always in the way in older versions of guitar to midi conversion and you got all these mistriggered notes and when you played there were sort of bunches of notes instead of lines of notes you wanted to input so I have two examples for you inside Dorico, which is a very great and new notation editor by Steinberg. In fact, it's the same team that uh, coded uh, Sibelius back in the day. I'll just open up Dorico for you. There you are. You can even get a free version of it, which would have the same functionality I'm just about to show you. So I opened up the project already. You've got, uh, well, the title, the notes and the tabs. Uh, what I'm going to do is to use step input, which means I put the cursor here for input. I go here to 16th notes. And when I start playing, you'll see all the notes appearing here, but out of time. I'll just play a little part, four bars or whatever, and you see what happens. As you can see, quite nicely notated, just one correction, which is this one. We need a, an harmonic change here. But you see, it's the notation you wanted. No mistreated notes, none whatsoever. I mean, of course, it's uh, easier if you've got uh, running notes with the same values. But you see, it's quite easy to do. Another example I, I'd like to show you. I'll input some chords for you. I was doing the James Taylor version of uh, Oh Susanna with a student. And I thought, well, this is a great way to jot down some chords. I'll, I'll just show you how to put in the chords. And you see a little miss trigger here, the B flat we don't want, but that's about it. I can even go about and mark the notes. And there's this lovely function, generate chord symbols. There you go. And you print that out and the student leaves with a happy face. So you see, it's quite easy to use the GM for guitar to MIDI services like this. And I'll link the Dorico for you in the descriptions below so you can check it out for yourself. And I guess you'll be quite happy with the results. The second use case for today is all about using the GM and the adjacent guitar, of course, for getting better at improvisation. What I find with a lot of beginners who start off with improvisation, they just use the normal pentatonic and they sort of pick each note. And this doesn't give a very convincing melodic way of improvising. And what I found out using guitar synths for 30 years now is if you give your student a guitar synth or a guitar with a synth sound that's more melodic, they start off right from the bat to phrase a lot differently because the melodic instruments calls for better melodic playing. So I've come up with this kind of Toots Tielemann sound, uh, a harmonica. Well, I'll show you what I mean. I've got the old standard Sunny by Bobby Hepp 
which I found a version in iReal Pro, which is quite a nice program for backing tracks. And I'll just start it, play the melody and play a little guitar so you see what I mean. The third scenario for creative uses with the Boss GM I'd like to show you today is about getting inspired by new sound textures you program yourself. I came up with the idea because a new Roland floor pedal, the RV200, gets a reverb thing. It was dropped this week and I thought, well, I might be able to do that with the stuff I've got inside my computer. And so I came up with a patch inside Gig Performer, which I'll cover in the next video. And in this patch, I'll just show you. I put in some reverbs and some amp stuff, stuff you might do at home with an XFX or a camper or whatever. I do this all inside the computer. And the guitar sound in itself is something like this. <laughs> So you see, it has a nice spacey quality to it. But uh, this is not about guitar space, it's about textures you can achieve with the Boss GM. And uh, if I put in the synth, you've got this. <laughs> it's a bit more science fiction like. So we start off recording a little track inside Gig Performer, which I'll then replay and uh, add a second voice to it with a slightly different sound. But first of all, the first one. I'll start recording here. So now I'll replay the recording I did before and uh, I'll add a second spacey guitar to it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode, consider to hit the like button, leave a comment and uh, subscribe to the channel. Then you'll get informed when the fifth part of our series will be released. Hope to see you soon. Till then, and stay tuned.